Hi, I'm Jonathan Marks, and I'm here today with Dr. Joseph Biederman, who is the Chief of the Clinical and Research Programs in Pediatric Psychopharmacology and Adult ADHD, as well as the Director for the Bressler Center for Autism Spectrum Disorders at the Massachusetts General Hospital. He is also Professor of Psychiatry at Harvard Medical School. He's going to be speaking at the upcoming 7th Annual Meeting of APSARD, the American Professional Society of ADHD and Related Disorders, this coming January 15th to 17th, 2016 at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel in Washington, D.C. His topic is titled, New Investigations on the Relationship Between Working Memory and ADHD, Implications for Clinical Care. Dr. Biederman, can you give us an overview of your presentation? The symposium that I have the privilege of chairing will focus on how working memory and ADHD represent separate problems from the preclinical neuroimaging and uh, clinical perspective. And what we are going to show uh, by in the different talks is that the medication response to ADHD and working memory is very different where medications for ADHD are very effective in treating ADHD but have very limited efficacy in treating working memory. Working memory is inventation the equivalent to random access memory in computer lingo. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that is very different than memory. Uh, memory is the equivalent of the heart drive memory. So let me give an example. If your computer has a huge amount of storage memory but limited amount of random access memory, it's not going to function properly. The same way the brain that in people that have working memory deficits cannot hold information online and adequately to inform decision making or thoughtful actions. So mm -hmm. it's a clear impairment that is particularly impactful in the educational domain. So children and adults that have working memory deficits are at very high risk, particularly if they have ADHD, to have educational mishaps. And it's important to remember that because the ADHD may be very well controlled and the child continues to have educational deficits because the treatment for ADHD does not improve working memory adequately. I am going to present a very interesting neuroimaging paper, a study that we did in collaboration with MIT, showing that the neural circuits that subserve ADHD are different than the neural circuits that subserve working memory. Uh -huh. uh, and we are going to also present data from rodents showing that the circuitry of the working memory is different than the problems that the animals have in animal models of ADHD. Do we have at this time, do we have ways to improve working memory? Not really. We are, of course, uh, it's an unmet need in the field of ADHD. Today, we approach it with educational support. So it's not a clinical diagnosis like ADHD. So it has to be ascertained in children suspected to have educational difficulties that are not responsive to standard treatments for ADHD is, is uh, obtained through psychological, neuropsychological testing. And can the same process work in adults? Exactly the same, and we documented that, that the same in adults, of course, working memory deficits also translate into occupational deficits, not only educational deficits. Yes. This sounds like a fascinating symposium you're going to be leading, Dr. Biederman. We encourage everybody listening to try to attend the upcoming meeting of APSARD, which is happening this January 15th to 17th, 2016 in Washington, D.C. Thanks for being with us, Dr. Biederman. My pleasure.